All right, we're going to work on a problem um, where we have the sale price. We're going to find out that something cost $407, and that was what we paid for it. So that was the sale price. And this price came from um, having a 26% discount was applied. And our task is to find the original price or figure it out. All right. So we know that uh, 407 represented 74%. How did I get that? Because if we had a discount of 26%, we did 100% minus that 26% and that gave us a 74%. So after, if we did it in reverse, we would have taken the original price, multiplied by 0.26, and then subtracted that from the original. We're just going to cut out that big long step and we're just going to say that the 407, it represents $74, 74% of some number. If we use our handy dandy grid, we always put 100 in that grid, right? we have a percent sign and we have the word of so what we can reword this problem now is 407 is 74 percent of what number that's how we can reword the problem now so we have a percent sign in this grid here we have a percent in our question so we're going to put our 74 we have the word of in this grid um, if we look at the problem that we wrote, what number, we don't know what goes there, so we're going to put an X. This 407 goes up here because it's the last box, and now to solve this, we just cross multiply. So 407 times 100 is going to equal 74X. This gives us 40700 equals 74x and we divide both sides by 74 using a little bit of algebra there and x is going to equal 550 when you do it on your calculator. I did it earlier so I know that that's what it works out. So the original price for this object was $550. They took 26% off of it and the person got to buy it for $407. Not a bad deal. Alright, let's try another one. Alright, um... Let's say for this one, um, we managed to buy a camera for $268.80. Of course it was on sale, because I only buy things on sale. Um, and this represents, uh, we had a um, 68, this is 68% less than the original. This is 68% less than the original price. What is the original price? And you know we're going to use this grid again. The 100 always goes in this corner. We put the percent sign here to remind us if there's a percent we're going to stick it in there. If there's the word of and there's a number after it, that's going to go here. Alright, so let's analyze this a little bit. $268.80 is that 68% of a number? No. We need to find out that 100 minus the 68% is going to give us 32. So the 268.80 is 32% of some number. So let's rewrite that. 268.80 is 32% of what number? That's in a nutshell what we need to solve. So now let's look at our grid. Do we have a percent? Yes, we do, 32. Um, of what number? That's telling us in our of box we have an X because we don't know. Um, and the 268.80 goes here. And then our favorite thing, cross multiplying. 268.80 equals 32X. So we need to divide both sides by 32. Let me just do that and see what I get my calculator, we're going to get $840. So again, do a CYA -C check. If, the, if something costs $840 originally, 
and we took a 68% discount and we paid 268 does that make sense? Um, well, think about it. 50% of 840 would be 420, and 268 is definitely below that. So we can kind of say that it's definitely in the realm of believability. Um, so I would definitely accept that. All right, if the grid with the percents was a little bit choppy to you and you weren't sure where it came from, go back and look at one of uh, my videos for percents, and it explains all about that grid. Thank you.